Hey guys. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? Good. 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 How are you? I've seen the photos. Yeah. I've got to say, they're not. They're not that bad. They're it's not, not horrible. horrible. I'm not lie. They're not horrible. I was just saying to Liam, your left side is stronger than your right hand side, which I'm surprised about because you're left-handed. So I'm surprised. Mm. I normally my side is my left side is better for me, and I'm right-handed. So, yeah, quite surprised. So yeah, well done. Well Thank done. You. Thank you. <laughs> if you could, if you were, if you would have had clippers to line out the hairline, edge the hairline, that wouldn't have looked so bad. Very well done. Great. Not bad. Yeah, we're we're going to get some. That's, yeah, definitely. Or oh, just oh, yeah, you know um, what? I can, I can put you in the right direction. Not a problem at all. There. I can okay. definitely put you in the right awesome. direction. So I'll send Liam some um, some suggestions for you. Um, cool. some that on to you know that that will work really well. Um cool. so yeah, good job. How did you feel about <laughs> Thank did you? Yeah. Did you feel okay? Did you get into a bit of a rhythm? Did you feel comfortable? I did, yeah. yeah. I was like like especially with the comb, I was like, wait, I, I like was noticing that I was doing it without thinking. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh. That's good. That's that's a start, yeah. Because that's yeah. the thing, it's it's it should it like what I I I know I know I've been doing it a long time. But it's one of those things where you just get into it so, like, it becomes quite methodical in a sense. You yeah. know what I mean? It's, you just kind of get into it, and before you know it, you you you're round to one side, and you're like, "Wow, how did I how did I even get to that side?" So yeah, yeah, yeah. Could be a new profession here if you fancy it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You can make a lot hey. of money in it if you really try. Yeah. <laughs> um. So we're gonna do the top now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. So um. On how does how do you want to wear the top? Yourself? I'm I'm sorry. What, what's your name again? Sorry, sir. Oh, Zach. Zach. So Zach, how do you want to wear your hair? I think um, usually the way that I have it is it comes off to like this side, and then okay. I part it around here. So you actually you actually cut a part in, in yeah. So mm -hmm. you, you like to have a hard part. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Cool. All right. Well, first of all, um, if you could just wet your comb and just wet. The hair down, that'll be much easier, and then you kind of using your hands. There we go. Perfect. And now, Zach, if it just for this, for, just for this video purpose, do you want to part your hair where you like it? Just for time, it'll be easier for time. Um, yeah, sure. Just part, just part your hair where you like it, and we we can cut okay. it from there. Right about there. Yeah, perfect. So just comb both sides of the parting for me. Okay. There we go. All right. Cool. Now, can you just spin around for me, Zach, if you don't mind, just so I can yeah. see the back? That, ain't, that isn't bad at all. Look at that. Isn't actually that bad? You have not done a bad. <laughs> I, know, I know it's a week over. I know it's a week grown out, but that's not too bad, really. Um, Zach, if, or in, in fact, Sonali, could you just hold it towards the crown, please, towards the back of the head? Now, do you see on, so you see your right side, can you just sharpen that part and off a little bit for yeah. me, just make it a bit sharper, a bit more of a straighter line? Thanks. That's good. Good technique. Good technique. <laughs> yeah, it's sharper now. That's good. Now, if you turn back around towards me, Zach. Oh, wait, oh yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, actually, yeah. Let me see that again. Sorry, Sonali. Yeah. Let me see that again. Yeah, awesome. That that is perfect. Great. Perfect. Good job. Now, yeah, if you turn back towards me now. So, if you want to, um, you got your tools laid out again in front of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome. Now, um, we're going to work across picking up some sections now. Okay. So, we're going to work on what length. That you want okay so a good idea for this is to is to sit zach in front of a mirror so i'm guessing you've got a mirror where zach is for, yeah okay because you don't need to necessarily be front on for me for this okay so it's more for you looking into the mirror okay right. now um with your comb if you comb his hair into the parting so from your right side to your left that's good so part it over yeah now grab your scissors in your hand as well for this Now, you're left-handed, aren't you, again, yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, with your, with your scissors, if you just... 
I'm trying to think of how I could explain this. Now, mm-hmm. Do you know what? Again, I should have got these ready. I, di- I didn't think. Let me just go and get my scissors. And <laughs> 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 there we go. Right, I'm back. Sorry, guys. We had a bit of a spring <laughs> clean while we've been off. Uh, <laughs> uh, right, so um, you've got your scissors yeah. and you've got your comb, right? Now, obviously, holding your scissors in the correct way, as we do, third finger, little finger on the rest, and then the two fingers either side, yeah, and your thumb in the hole. Now, what you want to do, when you're taking a section, you want to rest your, fin- you want to rest your scissor in your hands like this. So you're leaving your index, middle finger, and thumb free to hold your comb. Okay, mm-hmm. that's it, yeah. So hold your comb over go with that. Perfect, yeah. If you want to get more advanced, there's a lot of people see that I flip me scissor like that. All that does, it allows me to free up a lot more fingers when I'm using my comb. But I wouldn't try that right now. You can practice that. I mean, it's a good little technique to do. You basically just, you know, have a little look. You sit. So you have your scissor pointing up like that, mm-hmm. and you drop it. So you put your little finger on the thumb hole, and you bring it underneath. And it sits out like that. Nearly, nearly. Have a practice. Have a practice. Yeah. <laughs> the reason why I don't hold my scissor like this is because it just frees up more fingers. But it doesn't really, I mean, it's not going to make too much difference today. So you want to hold that like that, right? Now, when you're taking a section, you need to have your left, your right hand, sorry, for you, free. Okay? So comb his hair across like this, the way you would do, with your comb in your hand with your scissors. That's it. There we go. And now, at the front, so you're just going to start at his fringe, okay? That's where you're going to start at, okay? Mm-hmm. Now, with your, your right hand, you want to run with the same direction the, the parting is in, right? Mm-hmm. So working from your right to left, yeah? If you pick a section up with your comb like this, and then you run your finger in behind it, so you've got it between your two fingers, your index finger and uh, oh. your middle finger as well. So leave the parting where it is. Leave the part where it is. Okay. Right, comb that back in. There we go. So start at the fringe. Comb it over from the parting. That's it. And take your first section from just your, yeah, just over from the parting to the middle of the head. That's it. Yeah. Now pick it up straight. When your finger's in underneath, that's it. That's it. And do that, do that a few times. That's exactly the technique. When your finger's in like this, so your index finger, and your middle finger is underneath your comb as you do. So watch me. Pick it up, slide your fingers in, grip it together, and pull up straight. Okay. That's it, like that, yeah? That's it, that's it. There we go, yeah. And keep yeah, and keep working up the hair. So keep pulling okay. your fingers into the hair, okay? That's it. That's it, keep working up, yeah, that's it. And do it again. Just to get comfortable to the, the way you, the technique you do. That's it. Keep going again. Now, you need to decide the length you want to take off, Zach. So how much length do you want to lose off? Um, I don't think a whole lot, no. No, just a, just a little bit, yeah. Mm. Okay. So if you, with your fingers, when you've got your comb in, and you put your fingers underneath, if you wake up to the top, so say, leave, say what? Fourth of an inch, would you say? Something like that? Would that be okay? Yeah. For, for, the, for this purpose of this video, I'd say a quarter of an inch, just so we've got a little bit of length to play with, yeah? Find the length that you like, right? And then what you do is you rest your comb in between your index and your thumb while it's in the section. So if you watch me, it's very hard to, to, to teach this when you're on a video because it's, it's quite hard. <laughs> but you take a section like that, place your comb behind it, and then you cut straight across the section. Oh. Okay, so give that a go. So pick the section up again. Start the fringe. Don't forget to start the fringe. That's it. Pick it up straight. There we go. And then try. Yeah, that's it. Keep going. Let's start with there. Keep going from the back. Sorry, from the front. Keep going from the front. Keep taking your section so it's nice and clean. So you feel very confident that you've got a clean section. There we go. That's it. Yeah, and work and just keep working up. So let me let me start. If you watch me. If you take a section there, and you want to take that much off, bring it up to the length that you like, and then rest your comb in your fingers. So pick the length, 
start finish with the length that you want to take off um on with above your fingers yeah there we go so bring it up again and just do it slowly up to the length that you want to take off that's it and work straight up that's it keep going yeah about that mm -hmm. yeah there we go that's it and then cut that off so we straight along your finger with the scissor like that straight across And try not cut. Try and only cut to your knuckle, okay? Just to, okay. Yeah, try not to work through there, because basically, when you're holding it between, you're holding the hair between your, um, from your nail to your knuckle, that's where the most tension is. Anything between that, it goes through. See, the scissor goes yeah. through there, so there's no tension at all. Whereas you try and push it through there, it's very hard to go through. All right. Now okay. take another section working further back. So take another section, say like, I don't know, half an inch back from that section, and as you lift it up. Bring your comb up through the hair along at the same time as your fingers and just start to pull your comb away so you can see the hair coming through underneath. So you'll see the guide that you've cut. Keep working up if you can't see it. You see that shorter hair coming through as you work higher up? Mm -hmm. Try and keep your fingers nice and straight as well. You see that hair? Can you see a shorter yeah. length? Yeah. We'll cut to that length. And that way you've found your guide. Well, I'm going to do it one more time. Yeah, yeah. Take your time. a pretty short first cut so it's not super easy to see i don't think well you can you can see a guide on any length it's just finding out where the guide is it's fine making sure you get the, the same size uh sections is what is the key it's just a very hard one to try and teach because this is what i get asked a lot is yeah. how to cut it and it's it's not doing obviously doing the back and sides you can kind of get some sort of you can under, you can get some sort of understanding you can see it yourself as well you know when you're doing the top you know, you, you are mastering something that does take a long, long time to learn. Yeah. So, you know, it's it's you do it, you know, you're doing a good job so far. So okay. do that again, yeah. So keep going with it back and pick it up again. So it's say half an inch again. Try and go further back. Try and maybe if you can comb is, comb the hair over in the part and again to start again. You get it wet again, maybe. Yeah, I'd wet it down a little bit if I was you. Look, it does look a bit dry. There we go. I'll bring that section right back. So go right probably to the middle of his head now. So about here you're looking for. Bring that section. Run your fingers straight across, the same way as his part in this. The further back. Remember, try and run that comb up at the same time so you can get it underneath. There we go. There we go. That's it. Fingers nice and straight. That's it. And then comb it across to comb it from the, the parting. Yeah, there we go. And make another section back again. So if you take the section from just past the fringe, so where the fringe is, take a section from, say, half an inch back, just to save all that hair getting in the way. So instead of okay. coming from the front all the way back, start a little bit behind the fringe. That's it. There we go. Keep go working your fingers up so you find the guide. And as you're combing the hair back like you're doing there, that's it. Keep pulling your fingers up slowly so you can see that guide as well. So as you take your section, Pull, link, lift your fingers up nice and slow and just occasionally just comb it through so you see that guide. All right. There we go. Take another section back as well. So you're not, you're, this next section should be just before the crown. Okay. okay? So that's where you'll know. Because we're not taking a lot off, we use wider sections. That's what we look for. If you're doing like a short haircut like mine, you'd be doing about, I don't know, eight to ten sections all the way back. Oh. Because we're doing longer hair, we're not taking too much off. We do less sections. That's basically the way it works. So ideally, I'd probably said about six for this, but I'd go with four. It won't make too much of a difference. Just for, the, obviously, your first time. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
I say, I'm super impressed that you've picked this up so quick, you know. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, honestly, I'm not joking. You, you, just, just the whole technique you've got going on at the minute is it, it does look like you are getting the, the gist okay. of it. If this is a six month online tutorial, I think you pick it up really, really quick. You know? <laughs> on the basics, you know. Fleem's listening, there's an idea, mate. <laughs> there we go. Right, stop there. Okay. Now, what you want to do now is you've worked through the top of the head. So, if you look at me, top of the head, through there. The next bit is you're looking to work on the corner through here now. Okay. okay. So what you're looking for now is a guide from your right hand side. So if you start on the right hand, so if you start on the left hand side of Zach's fringe, so mm -hmm. yeah, if you start there, that's it, yeah. Pick a section up in the, from the fringe. That's it, slide your fingers in. Now if you lift it all the way up, you should see a shorter cut on the your right hand side. Can you see that as you pull it back? Mm -hmm. There we go. Follow that guide there. So this will start to get shorter as we get to the sides, as you're starting to blend in. The, the sides of the air, uh, the back, the back and sides as well. That's it, that's looking good. That's it, keep going back, that's it. So you should start seeing two guides. Now you should see the guides from the previous cut and the guides from your right hand side as well. Okay. We're back again. we go i do one last section as well just from where his crown is it's quite far over to the right i'll take it one last section just level with the crown on the side as well so the same angle same thing use the same guide and just take a bit off there we go now coming from the side here so we're working on the side of the head now mm -hmm. okay so what you want to do for this is if I probably, I probably wouldn't recommend doing it this way if I was teaching you properly because it's, it's more awkward for you. But just for, all, all, for the purpose of this video, what I would do now is take the same way. So normally what I do is I turn around and face the door, your door, and I pick up sections this way. Well, that, uh, that, would be quite hard to, that would be quite hard to master today. So what I do, say, same, same technique you're doing now, what you want to do now is where is take a section from the corner and to the sides of the head as well now. So same same idea. If you pick a section up over the side of the head, so you'd be working over this way. Just taking a section, same way. That's it. A bit lower down. More here, if you can. More along the side here. So your finger almost your your section needs to be parallel with the other side. So like that. And what you'll see is that corner. So what you want to do now. You've done four sections through the top. You want to do eight on the sides. So try and map out eight sections. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and try and follow them sections as you're working around, okay? okay. So just imagine you're doing eight sections. Almost run through it yourself. One, that's it, work back again. That's it, see like that? You've got your guide there, work back again. That's it, and just follow the head all the way around, okay? So you've done your eight sections, and then when you do that, come to doing it, that's it. Try and keep your fingers nice and straight, though. Okay, this is where it really changed the head shape now. So a bit, bit straighter, bring your, bring, your finger, bring your arm a little bit higher over like that. Bring your elbow up towards you, and your fingers to the nice and straight. Okay, that's it, like that, yeah, that's it. And work that all the way around. Okay, now. If I left you now, how confident would you feel doing the exact same thing the other side of the head? Pretty confident. Like yeah. I, yeah. Like I under I feel like I got this more clearly than the back and sides. Like I can see the guys more easily. <laughs> That's it. That is true. Using using your fingers when you're working anything like what we call palm to palm, which is like where you you bring a section, you cut, but your palms facing each other. That is that's quite hard to learn. But 
it's much more visual in a sense because you see the guys you're working with your longer hair. When you're mm. working with short hair, it, you do have to be so much more precise. So yeah. longer hair, you can get away with, you know, kind of taking your time on it a little bit more in some ways. Yeah. You know? um, so if all right, well, if you want, if you want to have a go there without me talking through it, then give it a go. I mean, look, this is your first time. I'm honestly, I mean, <laughs> I'm not joking yet. You've picked this up so quickly. Like, <laughs> I'm sure, and you know what the funny thing is, I'm sure if other barbers are watching this, they'll know where I'm coming from in terms of how your technique is getting gradually better. Really? Oh my God. You know I mean? It's not, I, you know, this is your first time doing it, right? So you've got to yeah. take, the, take the positives and use that as your confidence to be like, okay, got this. Okay. If I doing this, then I'll be all right. Yeah, it won't be painful. <laughs> but if this is your base to start from, I reckon give yourself, I, I think if, you, if you've done this regularly, I reckon this time next year, you, you do a pretty all right job. Oh, my God. I'm not just saying that for the, for the video and being genuinely serious. Because I, I, <laughs> thank you. While, sometimes you don't, get the gri- you don't get to grip with the kind of how you hold your scissor, how you get your sections and stuff. When, yeah. when, you, look somebody in a t- when you look for somebody in, 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 a, in a, a junior, you look for someone who gets it, okay? Because not everybody yeah. will understand it. Everyone gets it. And you're, you're getting it. Because you, you're sure. understanding it more. So take the positives from that, okay, and use that for your okay. confidence. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I, do have a, I do have a question, though. Um, when you yeah. said eight sections, do you mean like, and then you work around? Where do you yeah, so, stop? Like right in the middle? So, yeah. Basically, yeah. Okay. So where okay. you were doing four across the top, so just, just for this video, obviously, your first time going, I'm not going to tell you to overly do the sections because that's how you make more yeah. mistakes. Yeah. But if you do four through the top, when you're coming to the sides, you almost want to double it because your sections are smaller because you're working into shorter hair. Okay? Uh, so okay. you want to be trying figuring out, just, just map it yourself. Just take your time. When you're off camera, you'll be able to take your time more. Okay? You just map out one section, two section, three section, four section. Five. Work your way around. Now, when we're doing this to the top, because you're wearing it in the side part, I would normally say cut it into the part. And for this, for the purpose of what you're doing, it's probably best just cutting it to an all one length because it will still part, because it's longer, okay? Mm-hmm. If you had a shorter version of this, you'd have to cut it to the parting. Yeah. Okay? If it's a bit longer, you'll still be able to find the parting there, and it will mm-hmm. just be symmetrical. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for symmetry. That's mm-hmm. kind of what we're aiming for, okay? So if, okay. Yeah, if you map out eight sections through the back till you reach the back of the head, then you, you, you can't go wrong. And the same thing when you come back, when you've done the sides, leave it, start back, just off center, so where we started, right in the middle here, starting just off center to your right yeah. hand side, do exactly the same thing all the way back, four sections, four sections, and then eight sections. Okay. And, and then that, that, that would be a good enough cut for what we're doing today. For okay. This, for what we're, this, this crazy time we're in, it's good enough. Yeah. <laughs> so we, can, we can touch base again, maybe three weeks time or something like that, and we could probably go through it again. And again, yeah. and again, and let's just see how we get on with, with see how much you've improved. But not going to try and overload you with too much information. But if you can, when you've done this cut, when you're thinking of the scissor over comb, if you can just put your knee up, so you just cross your legs so your knee is over like this. I don't know if you can see me. I know I look weird like this. But just imagine yourself. I'll just try and aim the camera around. You can see my legs there, right? Yeah. You want to cross your legs over like this. And um, what you want to do is you want to be working your comb, working your comb up and down your leg like this, oh. right? And this is where you practice your holding it between your finger and your thumb. Oh, yeah. Up and down. So imagine this is the head, the top of the head. You wake up and you wake down, you wake up, right? And then what you do when you've got the confidence, I can try and do this by holding it with my arms, probably not, but imagine you then add a scissor. So I can just balance that so you can still see. I do this on a couch by a plug socket here, so I do apologise. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't normally do this sort of thing. It's uh, just trying to make the most of what we've got. Here we yeah. Go. yeah. Right. So there's me. There's my legs over like that, right? Yeah. And you're working up and down, up and down. This is what I used to do when I was 15, right? The same thing. I used to sit on the waiting chairs and I'd be going up and down, up and down, and just, just staring at my boss, thinking, "What are you making me do?" Right. <laughs> <laughs> You then is you had your scissor off and you practice keeping your scissor over and you go down again and you practice again right 
you go down again. And before you know it, when you've managed that, you go to somebody's head and you do it. And I know yeah. that sounds mad, but that is the, I, I was taught that way. So I always try and use that for everybody. So once you've done the top, I know I'm overloading you with, with info here, but maybe Zach, if you can take on what I've just said then, so mm-hmm. it takes the pressure off, um, <laughs> then just try doing that after this cut. Do the top like we've said, and then if you can sit down at any free moment you get and just sit seriously, just have it on your knee, just going up and down. Yeah. And down. And down. Try doing that. Cool. All right. So let's see how we get on. If you can do the top, send us a picture when you're finished. Um, okay. I'll let you know how it looks. Cool. But if you feel confident, then I'll let you go and crack on. I'm pretty confident, yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Don't forget to wet his hair down. That's all I'll leave you with. Okay? Yes, yes. Right, thank guys. you we'll so much. You. You're very welcome. Thank you. And uh, I look forward to seeing the finished result. Yeah, thank for you. sure. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You too. Bye-bye.